get it. All right, welcome to the night market where we sell things on the outside of the market itself, but in, I don't know if that's the, is the pagoda the actual market? No, it's not. Looks though, like it's just kind of the place you hang out to I, eat the food I, you buy in the night market. I, I know you struggle with this, but the market I is do. actually the market part with the stalls on the outside and uh, not the pagoda, just because it's not the focus though. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> You know, they could put a pagoda in the middle of a giant market, and it's still a market, not a pagoda, primarily. I want to say that science said world's best Genji Hawksaw, but I, I'm not totally sure on that, so don't quote me on it. I'm still learning Korean, guys. I'm not fluent yet. I'll get there. Meanwhile, the fight begins. Everybody uh, grouping up in the middle. Hawksaw, of course, on that Genji, so Joel be on the Tracer. No surprise there. Quad, though, on the McCree, so trying something a little bit different, but something, I think, a bit better for this situation. All right, Sabiolbe going to pick up the early kill on the Quad, finds him in the back line right yeah. now. That's a good start for Luxury Watch Blue, and Sabiolbe looking for a bit more against Mono on the outside. And now the point is live. Luxury Watch Blue just waltzes right on it. They're going to take it first. Pretty easy-peasy initially for Luxury Watch Blue. Yeah, Sabi will be doing the work in the back line to actually turn the tide of that fight. And it looks like with the composition that LW Blue is running, Bella, uh, they're just, uh, they're going to kind of ignore Hoxall here, it would appear. But we'll see if that is a wise strategy as oh, he's going to fell Janus and Luna oh. immediately. Dragon Blade is out. He's looking for a little bit more. Dodges a charge. Goes down after Mako takes him out. So that's three for him. Meanwhile, no name for Luxury Watch Blue getting a lot of kills as well. And it looks like LW Blue gonna hold. No name finishing Hawksaw off. Yeah, not enough with the Dragon Blade and Shine now with the Nano Boost, but they're not actually comboing those abilities together. So Hawksaw gonna have to rebuild his way back up to an ultimate. And the initial picks not pushing Runaway over the finish line when it comes to taking that point. They are going to have to fall back and try and regroup here. Mako going to be hiding, and there's oh. going to be a Graviton. All right, they're going to use it. Sabiobi so tosses in oh, that Pulse Bomb, gets geez. a big amount of damage and no name. There for the cleanup. Luxury Watch Blue, and this team right now, I, I would consider them a, a top four, if not top three team here in Korea. So Runaway is going to need to be really good to beat these guys. So far, though, it's uh, looking like a bit of a struggle for them. Yeah, LW Blue is certainly one of the better Korean teams. You can see that coordination yeah. coming into play. Runaway, they've got nearly six ults now, so this is the push that's got to work, Noah. All right, no name. Drops that Death Blossom. Quad gets a couple, though. He's got the Nano Boost. They're counting on him to carry, looking for another target here. Doesn't find it, though. Janus a little bit low. Tries to duck behind him, gets it. There's the kill. And Runaway may finally claim this point. Looks yeah. like they will as soon as they can deal with the Lucio. There you go. <laughs> they did. So finally, they get some new sentries going. Yeah. Committed three ultimates, actually using the nano boost there onto Quad during the dead eye. Yeah. So they're going to be about even when they come back in, but LW Blue going to have a nice time. Uh oh. Oh, wow, well, there's a Graviton surge. They uh, pick it up, but where's the follow up now? Mono not getting a whole lot on it. Janus with a kill, though. Kaiser on the other side grabs one. Mono having to back away. A bit awkward. They got the uh, the Reaper and the the Reinhardt in there, so both of them able just to get out with the charge and the Wraith form. So the follow up not really there for Runaway, but they hold for the moment. However, they've got a long way to go on this point. A lot of alternates up for Luxury Watch Blue too. This could be a pretty devastating push. Sibyolbi comes around the side, looks for the kill on the shine. Hit him a little bit low. Dead eye popped. Got to be careful. Hiding around the corner there. Quad looking for targets. Doesn't find anybody. Gets hit with that Earth Shatter. Now Luxury Watch Blue. They drop the sound barrier. This is the fight they're looking for, and they've already got nearly all the kills they need. Hawksall got Gambler, but that is it. A very clean fight for Blue. And the really the Hawksall died right during the Dragon Blade Oops. start animation. So that was extremely close, but they shut him down before he could get any value out of that ultimate. This should be an easy win now here for LW Blue. I think so. The Nano Boost on to Janus now to try to secure this point in overtime. Runaway diving on, though. They're going to try to hold it. No name, though, using that Death Blossom. And that will be it. Like Shirash Blue, another team fight win, and they will take Night Market. A significantly better coordination from LW Blue in that match. And it's going to be back to the drawing board, I think, for the likes of Runaway. They weren't doing a great job of empowering the Genji. It was almost as if Hoxall was 
just expected to use his ultimate on his own to clean up those fights, and then they yeah. were committing the nano boost when the Dragon Blade wasn't up onto other players. So I don't think they were playing around their star Genji player particularly well. I mean, we didn't see them honestly give him a whole lot of support in uh, some of their other matches in the past. He's kind of always been on his own, but up until now, he's been able to carry himself. He well, it's one best of out. five, right? We don't have a lot of evidence. Oh, even before that, some of the earlier bots from uh, Hawksaw were, were yeah. similar, right? So, although it had to change. That's one of those things that you know you're not going to get away with forever. Meanwhile, well, Luxury Watch Blue just rolls in. Sibyoldi with a kill on the runner already. Uh-oh, that's dangerous. Barely gets out with that recall. Ooh, that was hit close. by a fire strike there. Yeah. Again, quite close, but another Last early strike. pick. Xavioli just doing work on this tracer. Very confident about his ability to pick apart this team of Runaway. And if he's able to consistently pick off some of the weaker players on Runaway and abuse their positioning, Hoxall has to climb a mountain. He's going to have to fight 6v5, 6v4s if he wants to win this game for his team. And this Reflect has to get away from Janus, though, on that Winston. He's got the Nano Boost now going up for the... Oh, nice Sleep Dart onto him. Sibyoldi, though. On the flank, has to dodge out of the way from that dead eye. Goes oh. in. Oh, he went right for it. I guess the pulse bomb stuck, but the kills came in for Runaway anyway, and they're gonna claim the point. That was that was an interesting fight. I'm surprised he went for that. Wow. A bit overbold. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, not yeah. respecting the dead eye, and he does get punished for it. Thought he might be able to sneak in there and get the pulse bomb, but All right, the would have timing. been better off just waiting most likely. I'm pretty Instead, surprised. Yeah, right yeah. away gonna flip onto this point. Uh, nano boost was used by Shine again, not on the Hoxall, so they're staggering those two ultimates. Yeah. On board with Sibyold again, Hoxall pulls out the Dragon Blade, looking for a few more kills, gets two, Janus gets dropped off the edge. Mono's Graviton Surge setting that up nicely for him. Okay, just gonna turn around, get a bit of a reflect right there, and back off to join his team, so a few more percent after they Finally, Runaway finally does hit a decent old combo with the Graviton and the Dragon Blade together. So, their old combos are looking a little bit better here on Garden now. They've gotten a good amount of percentage here, so maybe we see Runaway kind of stabilizing. Enko coming in, wants to take it back from Blue now. There's the Graviton Surge, they dump the Sound Barriers, all Pulse Bomb coming in. No name with a lot of damage there. Hoxall already out of the fight, that's big. Quad looking for something on the dead eye. Sibyolbi actually falls to his doom. Whoops. And it looks like Runaway's gonna hold. Yeah, absolutely they are. I, I like what LW Blue is doing. They're running Zarya Winston as uh, two tanks that can bust through the reflect from the Genji. So it is up to them. will be actually gonna be switching over to the Genji himself right now. He hasn't been able to find those same things on his back line. Nano boost coming in, looking for some damage. Actually manages to dodge the Earth Shatter somehow. Takes some names. I mean, Hoxall's so killing of everybody with the Dragon Blade right now. But it's just not enough. Not enough. Three kills come in, yeah. and that's it. Meanwhile, no name picks up more onto the tanks and supports. Another Dragon Blade that won't be too efficient, but it's a lot of time left to run away with a big percentage advantage. Luna All right. going for the Zenyatta to drop the Discord Orb onto Hawksall, presumably. I like it. Nice little long-range siege. And again, Zenyatta, what he does on this map, too, is he just makes it harder to push up on the point if you're controlling it. I think he's a great defensive choice if you've already got the point. So you'll be there on the Genji now. For the reflex here coming in, trying to finish off the Zarya. We'll see if he can do it. There goes Mono. Yeah, they get the kill. Quad picks up one. Sibyolbi, though, with another. And Sibyolbi's going to be proving uh, just as scary, and he gets the kill on the Hawks all now. Luxury Watch Blue. They're going to get some more percentage on this point. Yeah, they're also building up a huge ultimate bank right now. Runaway going to be coming in with some of their own, but it will be 6-6, six to six, looks like. Another issue with, uh, another uh, good thing about that Zenyatta is that Transcendence is extremely good at handling the uh, Genji ultimate. I mean, you can't get anything done with Dragon Blade if Transcendence is on the party. So I think the Zenyatta swap is yeah. is a really great idea, actually, from Luxury Watch Blue. This, I think you're absolutely right. This is a composition that has been designed to deal with Genji. Yes. Winston and Zarya, there's no period of invulnerability with that reflect when you have the Tesla gun or the Zarya left click. And then you couple that with a Discord Orb, or as you say, the Transcendence. They also have Transcendence and Sound Barrier, which means that they'll always have a defensive support ultimate up in Mouse order issue. to handle that problem. It looks like Runner 
maybe having a bit of a, a, a small problem with his mouse. Do you need your mouse to play Lucio? I think you just need to. <laughs> you just need to uh, press have your shift keyboard. Really, it's. Uh, yep. <laughs> that's right. You could keyboard turn if they had that in the game. Don't really need to look around anywhere. And so hopefully that'll get fixed pretty quickly. But uh, Runaway looking a little bit better here on Garden. But I think, uh, like we just talked about, Luxury Watch Blue is some very good adaptations to handle the Genji. And, uh, yeah, the Zenyatta, you know, again, might be weak one-on-one -on -one versus the Genji. But uh, in a team situation like this, it, it does make it really hard for Hawksall to get that big Dragon Blade uh, kill streak going. Well, Winston can also mess you up super bad if you yeah, have a of Discord orb on you. Yeah. And Luna has actually been a player that uh, has played more Zenyatta than most other supports throughout this tournament. So he has been known to swap over from that Ana occasionally. And that's a powerful tool here that LW Blue has yeah. against a Genji as good as Hawksall. I think it's good. I, I think in this particular case, the nano boost isn't as important as having a tool that you can use whenever Dragon Blade is up. And if you're a good Zenyatta, you can get that ult, ult up surprisingly fast. You build it really, really quick if you're actually uh, healing a good amount of people, if you're landing your auto attacks. So uh, you should, if you're a good Zenyatta, generally you will always have Transcendence up when Dragon Blade is ready to go for the other side. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And there's also the buffer there with the sound barrier, just in case yep. you don't have that. Uh, double those double uh, healing slash overshield support ultimates can be yeah. really effective against the burst of the uh, Genji ult. But whereas runner is a, t a pit crew around him, esports pit crew. They're not hot swapping that mouse out fast enough. All right, looks like he might be ready to go here. We'll see. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot more Zenyatta, honestly, if the uh, nano boost change does come through from the PTR where they're, you know, thinking about taking away the speed boost from it. I think that makes it a, a lot less appealing in general because chasing after people with Reinhardt or, you know, using it so that Roadhog can run people down while in Hold Hog. If you don't have that utility, um, and also Reaper, I mean, you can't run in with uh, Death Blossom quite as easily without that speed boost, too. So. Less Ana means more Zenyatta in general, so I think my my favorite hero is going to come back a <laughs> well, bit more less, now. Well, less Ana, uh, less Ana power on the ultimate. I'm not sure we we're going to see that much less Ana in particular, but yeah, the speed boost. Uh, uh, he gets a I think it's relatively low mobility hero. I think it's a. I think the losing the speed boost on Nano Boost uh, is enough of a change that there's going to be less Ana. We'll see. We will see. We'll see if that change even hits the live server. We don't know yet. All right, run away, trying to take this point back again, but Luxury Watch Blue already up around 85%. Graviton Surge up. Mono's going to go ahead and use a Graviton Surge for both teams. Squad, though, has that dead eye, and he finds the kill on the Mako. There's one anyway. Doesn't hit the flashbang. The so Yobi is still taken out. Doesn't matter. Wow. Meanwhile, Transcendence used as Luxury Watch Blue just tries to hold. They force it to overtime. Quad looking for another kill on the gems, but he's got way too much help. Meanwhile, Runaway they may have actually taken back the point here. Yeah, they have. The Transcendence was blown by Luna, but it was an overcommitment on the outside of the point by LW Blue, so he couldn't actually make the most out of that Zenyatta ultimate, and is going to be back soon. Oh, but here's nice reflect on the quad. So you'll be back in there. He's got that Dragon Blade out. They've still got overtime going. Runaway hasn't taken the point yet. Hoxall's back. Yep, soon he is. And that may be enough to finally grab it. We'll see. Yep, they finally do it. It's 95% for Runaway. This is a very close point right now. Mono with two kills, and they may just get it right here. They will. Yep, tie game. Him off, and that'll tie it up on Control Runner. May still be having a few mouse issues right there, but the big lead Runaway developed early huh. on that first push of 93%. Does put them over the top, and LW Blue a little bit of an error right there when it came to dealing with the transcendence. Wasn't quite enough, quite early enough, and they weren't grouped up enough to really take advantage of that. Yeah. Say Save you'll be getting picked off on the outside turned out to be highly consequential in the rest of that uh, fight for the point. Very true. And with that said, we do see Luna back on the Ana once again. It's an interesting choice. Uh, choosing between Ana and Zenyatta. A lot more to talk about with that, really, but no time to do it as Sibyol will be coming in with this tracer right now. The fight begins. 
great on it so far, and if, yes. he, if he can win the, the fight here against Shine, but that's nice a nice sleep dart. I can tell it's a recall just in time. Close call, though, but yeah, Shine has had to be really ready with that sleep dart because Sabiobi's sole mission has been killing that on us. So you'll notice that they are falling back right now, too, and doing a better job of protecting that back line, but Hawksall gets a huge charge for multiple people. He's really building that ultimate up quite quickly, and they're going to get that first cap on the point. Yeah, well, he'll take the point. Suddenly the confidence that we saw from Luxury Watch Blue early on, not quite coming through. Quad does get the kill on the Sibiolbi as well. Tracer on Tracer. This is more of the style of play that we saw in the Reaper already. Nano boosted here. No name working his way. Wow, and no kills. Die. Man, that is rough. Hoxall has the shield here. Staying alive. He needs that sound barrier. Good sleep dart coming in from Shine, though, again, or rather from uh, Luna this time. Hawksall hit with that biotic grenade, run away, just keeping Luxury Watch Blue pinned back by their spawn. Well, the Blue going to be coming in with a Big Bang combo on their next assault. That's right. And with the sound barrier blown late in the fight by Runaway, they don't have very good defensive measures against it. If they can pull it off, Mingo going to bounce his way in. He's going to go on the side, and All here right. we go. Looking for the backlines kill on that one. Sibiolbi goes ahead and drops a pulse bomb. Oh, Quad gets the kill, though. Meanwhile, Hawksaw with the nano boost with the Dragon Blade gets one. Looking for another one. Janus goes down. Trying to find the kill finally onto the Lucio. Looks like he may be able to get it. No, doesn't really need it. Meanwhile, the point threatened a little bit by Luxury Watch Blue. He'll be <laughs> crouching away there. That was not very well executed. They only got two members of that back line. And you'll notice the way that LW Blue has been playing again. They're they're trying to protect those support players. And, but the Zarya shields, the projected barriers were there, and it was a little bit of a too early use of the pulse bomb by Save You'll Be. Well, I do like how Runaway split up too when they saw the Zarya coming in. They knew exactly what the threat was, and they mitigated it well by being spread out. Mono has that Graviton Surge. They have to use the Sound Barrier Runner, or Runaway rather, trying to stay alive. Pulse Bomb comes in, a little bit of damage. Oxal finishes off No Name, and it looks like Runaway still holding the point for the moment. They've just got Luxury Watch Blue for the most part, pretty well bottled up. The support's coming in though. Dragon Blade used Hawksaw with the Reflect yet again. Sibyoldi goes down by himself actually. And Oxal low, but still making a difference. Kaiser gets the kill on the Mecco. It looked like he reflected the pulse swap right there, actually. Oh, maybe, yeah. It's possible. I'd like to see a replay of that. I mean, you can't die to your own pulse bomb, too, if you are uh, Tracer, of course. And if it was reflected, you'd think the kill would come up for him, so. I'd like to see a replay of that, too, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit odd how that worked out. However, LW Blue does make enough pressure to flip this over, so looking a lot like the blast map, the runaway. They have an eternity now. Continue yeah. to pressure this point. And they're going to be coming back up. Mako going to attack oh early. Boy, it's a big Graviton surge, but No Name can't quite get the Death Blossom off in time. There's a Pulse Bomb from Sibyoldi. He's loosening up or uh, softening up a bit of the members of Runway. Meanwhile, Janus doesn't get a whole lot done with the Nanibus. Oops, he charges into the hill of there. That's going to be an easy kill for Mako. Oxal, though, coming in, looking for a bit more with his Dragon Blade. Trying to go for the Tracer, yeah, doing exactly where she was going to be. Finally goes down, though, so be outplaying him just a bit. There's another Pulse Bomb coming in. Very low health for Kaiser. Gets the heals, though, in the end. And Luxury Watch Blue already up to near 50%. Runaway, they need to make something happen here. Yeah, huge ultimate advantage now for LW Blue. Hoxall uh, tried to get some kills with the Dragon Blade on the end of that fight, but commits it. Doesn't get oh, much. Oh, that's good for No Name. Comes in, he's got the Sound Barrier, too. No kills, actually. Thought he was going to get maybe a little bit more. Mono gets the one on Deluna, though. So Runaway with the first kill of that one. No Name has to back away, picks up the health back, comes back in, Luxury Watch Blue drops that Graviton Surge, and that allows Janus to just pound away at him. Meanwhile, Kaiser gets the Nano Boost, takes down Maker, and a Runaway may have an opportunity here to take back the point. They've nearly got it. There goes No Name. And Luxury Watch Blue fighting for their lives. Looks like they've been able to stabilize, though. Yeah, Luna switching over to the Zenyatta once again, just in time for Hoxall's ultimate to come up. Can they hold this? It's going to be so close. Last push, and Runaway has to make this Dragon Blade work. I mean, Luna's not going to have Transcendence, but Discord Orb can make a big difference here, especially when you've got the Winston on top of you. Quad backing away, back on that McCree again. We're in overtime, 99 to 99, as Hoxall comes in with the Dragon Blade. Gets one, gets two. This could 
be the fight Runaway's looking for. It looks like it is. They will reclaim the point, and I don't think Luxury Watch Blue can get back in time. That is going to be Li Zhang Tower going to run away. Wow.